Well, the impact of the carbon tax has been swift, with prices expected to rise in everything from fruit and veggies to airline travel. Today, Finance Senator Ross Greenwood joins me now. Ross, good morning to you. Morning, Carl. He's starting to unravel a little bit in terms of these expenses. Let's start with transport costs. There's no doubt about it. It is about transport, and so you've seen a lot of companies report yesterday. So as a result, you're going to find airfares are going to rise. Uh, we heard, say, for example, from Qantas yesterday that they believe that the impact will be around $115 million on its bottom line, and as a result, it will actually raise the price of ticket prices by around $3.50. Virgin came out immediately and said it will have to raise its prices by around $3 per sector that you travel. So it starts to have an impact. It's not even gone to bus fares. It hasn't even got to taxi fares. All of these things will come later on as well. I'm no worried doubt. about these guys over here too, the truckers. The truckers. Well, the truckers have come out and said, well, we, we've got nowhere to hide mm. because if you've got a situation where we've got to pass on these price increases and we're not getting a full rebate back, they're saying if it's competitive, we might either get stuck ourselves or alternatively we might find ourselves in some serious trouble if we can't pass it on e to Woolies. Either way it has to get passed on doesn't it you either would think. Okay, let's on. talk about Woolies, uh, Coles, uh, grocery bills. Our grocery bills will also rise and the reason for that, fruit and vegetable prices. So Ausveg, which is the, uh, the vegetable and potato growers, they say look you think about irrigation, electricity, you think about the tractors on the farms, there's no compensation for them as a result those prices go to Woolies and Coles. Will they actually be able to pass it on? If they can't, guess what? More imported fruit and vegetables, mm. not good for Australia. That's a consequence of the carbon tax as well. OK, building new homes is also going to be hit. The Master Builders Association comes straight out and says, as a result of the uh, energy that goes into building a new home, be it in steel, uh, uh, tiles, bricks, any of these things, cement, the new home price is going to rise by $5,000. That's even before you actually get in and put all of the gear into the house that will cost you extra as well. Power bills? Power bills. Uh, the Energy Users Association came straight out and said energy bills, notwithstanding the prices are going to rise anyway, as much as 18% in New South Wales that's just come in from July 1, when the carbon tax starts, will rise, definitely depending on where you live, by between 10 and 20% on top of any other rise. How much is compensation going to cover all these things? Uh, compensation, the government says, will cover a big chunk of it. That's what the government's claim is, but it won't cover it all. What about the future of coal mining? There's been a lot uh, said from the coal miners themselves. We saw Tony Abbott yesterday at a, at a Peabody, um, I think, mine. That's right. They've, uh, while he was there announcing um, his concerns for the mining sector, and we've heard from, mining, from the mining sector in the past a couple of weeks saying that it's going to slash their value in the marketplace. Overnight comes a massive offer for Peabody. This is MacArthur Coal coming from Peabody and another group from overseas. Now, it shows that some of those assets have been depressed and therefore opportunists are jumping in. It also shows there's a future for coal exports. There's no mm. doubt about that, notwithstanding the carbon tax. But it also goes to the other side of it. Coal in Australia is mined to actually go into electricity generation. That's where your prices are going to rise. What those coal miners are actually saying and some of the electricity generators is, guess what, we might not be able to pass on dividends to state governments in the future mm. and that's causing real concern amongst the state governments. The political fight is only just beginning. Oh, it certainly is. Thank you very much for that, Ross. Lee.